Hey YouTube, this is Applicious2, and today I'm going to be going over my top Mac apps. Uh, all pre-installed Mac OS X applications like Safari, Notes, Reminders, etc. are excluded from this list because if you're watching this video, it's because you want to know what else is out there. I'm going to be going over 16 different categories, so 16 apps, and they're all in the dock right here. And I'm going to be covering genres uh, going from alternative browsers to security applications, and even to one of my favorite games. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go through these really fast because otherwise if I were to spend time to really go into each application, it'd be a really long video. And really, if you're watching this, it's because you want to go and check them out, download some of the free ones, look at the previews of the paid ones, etc. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first genre we're going to be covering is browser. Uh, Raven is kind of like the mix of Google Chrome and iOS apps uh, all in one. It's super fast, faster than Safari. I've actually clocked it with speedtest.net, even going faster than Google Chrome at times. And this is what it looks like. I love this as my alternative browser. It's really cool and fun because you can just kind of click on apps, go to different sites, and it loads the same way, except it just has this really cool interface on the side here. Um, also, while I'm on Raven, uh, DigiRT Software has once again offered uh, just letting my subscribers know that they have a Thanksgiving special on. I know Thanksgiving's already passed, uh, but they still have the special going on. So if you want to get WinX DVD Ripper Platinum uh, free, go ahead and I'll have the link in the description. Click on that and you can get a free, awesome, super fast DVD ripping software for free. So you might as well take them up on the opportunity. All right, so that is Raven. Let's go ahead and move on to email. Uh, for email client, I love Sparrow. It kind of has the iOS look like Raven. Uh, it's faster and cleaner looking than Apple, uh, Apple Mail, and it's my primary email client, and I would recommend it to everyone. Uh, it's free. Go ahead and check it out. For word processor, Bean is somewhere in between uh, Microsoft Word and TextEdit. It has more formats than TextEdit and has a cleaner interface uh, with more just easier to use options uh, than text edit and it looks like this it's lean fast uncluttered the cool thing is it has a word count at the bottom so that's bean go ahead and check it out for to do's things things is reliable customizable simple and syncable uh, it is the best to do application out there I am a heavy user when it comes to to do's I have tried tons going from productive to wonderlist to clear to uh, three do I've used so many but when it finally came time for me to make a decision things was the way to go and it's been totally worth the fifty dollars uh, so if you're in the market for to do's definitely check out things for notes Evernote I'm sure you've heard of it it's syncable easy to use uh, fun I use it for school and for tech stuff uh, I would definitely recommend it as a note taker if you don't already have one so go ahead and check out Evernote when it comes to managing copying and pasting, which is essentially called your clipboard, uh, clip menu, sorry, clip menu is the best uh, in the business. It's free and you can customize it with your own website signatures, etc. If you just want to have quick access, you click on it and then you can paste it. And otherwise, if you're doing like a research report or copying multiple different things, you can just copy, 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 and then paste, paste, paste here instead of having to copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. So that's clip menu. And now let's go ahead and move into pro productivity. When it comes to productivity, Text Expander does exactly what the title says. It expands your text. So you can have a little bit of a small little snippet like uh, JCU for J Cummings, like is a login that I use for some websites. And you can just type JCU instead of having to have the same thing. It expands it and it makes writing email, doing MLA formatting uh, a breeze. For file organization, uh, Pathfinder is the best. It's $40, so it's expensive, but if you do a lot of dragging and dropping and don't want to have a bunch of Finder windows open, uh, Pathfinder is the solution. It is able to do dual pane, and it's got a bunch of other features. Uh, drop stack is really cool. You can drag and drop multiple files. Uh, that's Pathfinder. For security, if you want to keep your password secure, one password is great. It syncs across your devices and also has uh, extensions where you can just click and it'll fill out the information for you. So I definitely recommend checking out 1Password. Alternatives to iPhoto. For photo organization, I would recommend Sparkbox. 
Uh, it's really fast. You can drag and drop to import photos. And then it's also got this really cool color uh, organization whereby you can organize your uh, photos by color and it will recognize the colors in them. At the end of the day, Photoshop is the best in the business for photo editing, but Pixelmator is a cheap alternative. It's only 30, per, 30 bucks uh, full price. It's on sale right now, uh, but essentially it's 95% less than the cost of Photoshop. And it's really easy to use. It's got a lot of the same features as Photoshop, but um, it's, it's not as pricey. Um, besides Pixelmator, just a little fun app for image creation uh, would be Sketch. You can draw, paste photos, etc. And then the cool thing is you can just drag and drop your uh, little JPEG at the bottom there. For me personally, I love uh, Folders Factory when it comes to customizing your Mac. You can see along the side here uh, some example folders I've made. Uh, just using the text and the coloring, you can change it up. Uh, you can also change the look of the folders so they look like this. And so if you want to kind of show your cool customization side for your Mac, uh, Folders Factory is cheap and awesome. For, what is this now? For launchers, Tab Launcher is my favorite. Uh, it sits on here, the side. It's like basically having a bunch of other docks on the side so I use it over here um, and would definitely recommend it. For maintaining your Mac, uh, Clean My Mac is awesome. It basically takes all the unwanted or unused or space capturing that you don't need files and finds them all uh, that would be really hard to do manually and it does it automatically and then you just hit clean and as you see right here I've actually removed about 100 gigabytes. Uh, with this application which is great. And then now that we've gone through all of those fun stuff would definitely be games. Uh, Asian Dynasties, uh, uh, part of the Age of Empires 3 series uh, is my game that I play on my computer. Uh, I'm not gonna have time to open it up so I just have a couple photos here on the side to show you what it looks like. Um, gameplay is really fun. It's not turn-based so what makes Civilization 4 really long and sometimes boring Age of Empires is not because it's all in real time. Uh, you're controlling all the pieces and it's not like you're taking turns like Risk. So that concludes it for uh, my top Mac apps. Uh, let me know what your top Mac apps are in the comments below. Uh, check out the description to download some of these and I will see you in the next video.